appropriate amount of YouTube buffering yes, time. Yes, buff buffering time. And hey, Presto. Can I say hello? You can, we are live. <laughs> hello, everybody. Welcome to yet another live. How are you? How have you been this week? If you're new here, please say hi. And if you're not, not new, say hi as well. Well, today we are doing something I found to be magical, and that is a magic cookie dough. So, um, shall we read the comments? We shall. Hello, everybody. <laughs> First of all, first of all, I have to... The birthday boy. I just wanted to say a very heartfelt thank you, genuinely, without the, my normal side of sarcasm, to everybody who sent me a birthday message or a birthday wish, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Mwah! Another Mwah. year older and a little bit wiser, or... Well, just a year older, anyways, <laughs> but... So, we are currently um, filming this magic cookie dough. Um, I will stop to read our comments, but we're currently filming this magic cookie dough, and so far we have made, um, I don't know if you've heard of a Jaffa type flavor, but it's orange and chocolate mixed together, and with a, such a low carb flour, you can, well, I feel, you can add orange zest and maybe a little bit of orange juice and that's what's in these and then um, that was just showing a particular technique of how to make just a plain cookie adding things and then we did another one with adding a jam with nuts anyway I will stop there <laughs> before I carry on oh, no, 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 let me actually, stop actually before we get into the comments do note that all the ingredients are listed in the description box and while we're reading out the comments I'm just going to add what's in the description box already just to save time. Okay, go. I'm sure I understood all that. Okay. Oh, it looks like you've already been in the comments here. I see Cook with Mel's name popping up. So Cook with Mel is here. That's good stuff. Danielle Graves is here. Hello, Danny. Who says, in case anyone else missed it, you might want to talk to someone about maybe a little bit of waxing on your upper lip. It looks a little bit furry. I did respond. <laughs> <laughs> so Danielle is here. Hey, Danielle. Uh, wonderfully supported is here. That's oh, a, hello. That's a very cool username. Yes. Nice Cheryl, to see you. Cheryl Tomlinson is here. Hello, Cheryl. I've survived another week without my uh, head being detached from my shoulders, so I can only assume that Cheryl is not here in Australia. Ron's Keto Cafe, Super Hello, Ron is here. Hello Ron, nice to see you again. We have Lily Albright in the chat. Hello Lily. Strap in everybody, <laughs> Lily's here. Uh, Stacy Gabler, hey Stacy, how are you doing? Hi We have Judy Duran. Hello, Hello Judy. Hello Judy. <laughs> I have twin grandsons that just turned 28. Wow. wow. Happy birthday Happy to them. Happy birthday to them, yes. Mr. Mars. Mr. Mars. Mars is in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Big g'day to you all from down under Australia. Are we ready to rock, rock and some recipes? Roll. Yes. yes, we are. Cheryl says, Stacy, try using different chips in your cookies. Get peanut butter or butterscotch chips. They must have had a whole conversation. <laughs> And that's everybody up to this point. Okay. Welcome everybody. Oh no, it's not. Sorry. Goodness me. It refreshed. <laughs> it refreshed. Wowza. Uh, Kelly Bow is here. Hello, Kelly. Happy day to everyone in Indianapolis, Indiana. Come and talk to me. Chris nice and Mel have up their sleeves. Uh, Cheryl, hi Lily. How's your hubby? Yes, that's a very good question, <laughs> Cheryl. I hope he survived the week. <laughs> How is Lily's husband? We we need photographic evidence that he's still okay. Uh, Ella is here. Hello, Hello Ella. Hi, how are you? Kisses. Christiane Fiss. Hello, Chris. Big hi to everyone too. from Texas. <laughs> uh, dum, 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 dum. Number one fan. Hello from Florida. Hello, number one fan. Mm -hmm. Mad Vito. Sorry, Marianne. Marianne, Good morning nice from to see Rochester, you. Rochester, New York. Hi, Marianne. Yvonne Hope Ange, good night from Singapore. Oh wow, hello Yvonne. I'm sure we've seen Yvonne before. We have. Yes. Seattle Six is here. Oh my goodness, how are you Michael? Nice to see you. Oh goodness me, the chef has finished building houses. The chef is here. No, I think the chef has taken time taken specially leave. out to 
attend one because fantastic. Well, we are honoured to have Chef yes, among us. Yes, we are. Hi, good morning, afternoon, and evening to all. Carb conscious Carolyn, hello all. Hello, hello Carolyn. Carolyn. That's your new name. Rumble doll. Oh. Hello from the UK. Wow, nice to see you. <laughs> Karen Humble, I made it. Can't wait to see what you oh. do today. My <laughs> oldest son's thirty eighth birthday is today. Oh, happy birthday. <gasps> 38, wow, happy birthday. Wow. Lily says, yeah, he is alive and kicking. <clears throat> Sorry, Lily, but I am not taking your word for it. No offense. <laughs> and Chip says, happy 44th birthday. Thank you, pal. Uh, and we are up to date. Okay. So, so far I have mixed in, um, I'm going to be using the almond blend, the CK flour almond blend to make these cookies. Um, you are welcome to use um, the chicken flour blend. Um, I would just maybe, um, if you're adding cocoa powder, maybe add a tablespoon, or if you're using vanilla extract, which I am, um, and you want to make plain vanilla cookies, maybe add a tablespoon. But this recipe is absolutely versatile. I'm finding that I can do almost anything to it within reason. So, I've added the CK flour almond blend, sweetener, and the baking soda. And that is your dry mix. Now, the video coming up, I will share this little tidbit about uh, the video coming up. You can put this in a Ziploc bag and store it in your freezer, and then when you're ready to bake, you would just fish it out and add your wet ingredients and then whatever flavors you want. So, of course, <laughs> and I've already done so. <laughs> magic can you, cookies. Can you see the name on it? Yeah. I'm not sure about calling it magic cookies. If you took this to the airport, they'd have something to say to you. Ah, oh, you have to take it there. Lily says, should I kick him so he screams? <laughs> Lol. No, Lily, I think we can all agree that the man has suffered enough. Uh, Danielle says, Chris is a baby to me, I'm turning 46, haha. -ha. Danielle, that's like two years. And I'm 49, Danielle, so you're the baby to me. <laughs> I have socks that are older than two years. More comments? This afternoon, chicken and beak blend cookies on the list. That's Danielle. Says nice. That. Marzi says, oh my god, Mrs. Melstar, those bickies look scrum diddly umptious. Oh, yes. Come on, let's rock these biscuits, please. Chef says, great to be here. And Marzi says, I caramba. <laughs> A little too funny, just not too hard. <laughs> As in, don't kick him too hard. Um, Lily is asking a sensible question for a change. Uh, no extra xanthan gum to the mix? No xanthan gum required. And I need to give credit, um, this is not my recipe, this uh, recipe has been provided uh, to us by Danielle, ha Danielle Hargraves. Um, she, Sorry. she gave this recipe to me and said that we are welcome to use it. So thank you, Danielle. Anyway, to this, I'm going to now add the wet ingredients, which is the melted butter. I was laughing at Danielle because I read out chicken and beak blend cookies. There's a, a typo from Danielle as chicken and beef blend cookies. So that's what she's making this afternoon. Danielle's been very busy. Um, I almost forgot, but I like to add a, a pinch of salt just to bring out the flavor. And one tablespoon of egg whites. And I'm going to... Well, my flavors for the live is going to be peanut butter chocolate cookies. Yum. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a quarter cup of organic, um, organic, all natural peanut butter. All right. And now we're going to mix that in. So you can see that I've got a quarter cup of uh, sugar free chocolate chips here. I'm not going to, I always like to add chocolate chips in after the batter's been mixed, just so that uh, no flour or dry ingredients stick to it. So. You're in trouble. What happened? And I agree. <clears throat> it's Graves, not Hargraves. Ha 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 ha. Graves. 
says Danielle. Danielle Graves, not Hargraves. Where did I see Hargraves, Miss Danielle? That wonderful thing that you call an imagination. I... Imagination. <laughs> Chef asks, are those the magic cookies that made Chris's hair turn pink? <laughs> oh... No, I think that's a. I think you should answer that. No, that was the after effects of uh, the marriage certificate. It takes a few years to kick in. Oh, he's such. You know, he's such a kidder. <laughs> and Marzi says I missed a Chris. Uh, missed his birthday message. Wait, 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 wait. Adding in the chocolate chips because everything is now mixed. Oh, I'm so sorry, Marzi. I did. Wishing my brother Christo a most happy 21st birthday. Much love from Mars and family. Aww. Shh, ladies and gents, a surprise would have been nice. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Oops. You're I'm a legend. Scared. Oh, I forgot the formula. <clears throat> we'll do that now. Doesn't matter. Whatever. Uh, Carb conscious Carolyn, what is in the cookie mix? So what's in the what's in this? Um, so in that is the clean keto almond flour blend, uh, the sweetener and baking soda, and you will get a uh, the measurements, uh, the amounts in the description box. I've put everything there, so you don't have to take notes. Just screenshot. Right. Lily says, how about a drop of whiskey? I'm Irish, we add whiskey to everything. Why not? I feel like we're learning lots about Lily. Why not? I feel like, yeah, you can be a little bit naughty. Um, a friend of mine, Michael Rosenau, he's, he did um, a passion fruit coconut impossible pie. You know, the Bisquick um, mix we did the other week. So he says that, he was saying that, adding um, passion fruit per slice is you know now affordable in terms of carb count for him um, <clears throat> because the flour is so low in carbs I'm just gonna grab my scale <clears throat> while you do that uh, Alice says she's making the CK flour oh, nice. uh, it takes a long time one question dear Mel how do you store the CK flour does it need to be in the fridge or can I store it in an airtight container on the counter? Okay, it depends on <clears> how <throat> long um, you're going to, you know, have it in your pantry or on the counter. If you're going to use it up soon, say, I would say a week, it's fine in the pantry. But if you're making a lot, um, I like to store mine in the freezer because I actually do make a lot. So, um, so it just depends on how soon you're going to use it anyway i have preheated my oven to 350 degrees fahrenheit or 176 celsius and i've greased and lined a baking tray and by the way same settings if you want to do it in the air fryer these bake for 10 minutes in the oven but with the air fryer i would have check them at about eight minutes because the air fryer does it did bake faster anywho um i need anyway well danielle says if anyone wants thin mint flavored cocoa powder and mint extract and then it stops i'm not sure whether she has it or whether she knows where to get it danielle fill us in uh yvonne says could you please recommend vanilla extract that's keto friendly um, most of them, most, well, the ones that I've seen are, are keto friendly. It's just, um, alcohol and whatever flavored extract, uh, that's what vanilla, well, that's what extract is normally made of, but do check the back of, um, of the carton. Um, if they've got any unpronounceable <laughs> ingredients, then I would avoid it, um, but I use I use that I use a f organic um, bean paste and like I've always used that so it works for me. <clears throat> Rumble Doll says, "What is the carb content?" I love that username by the way. What is the carb content for CK flour almond flour version? <clears throat> um, 
it's was it in the video in the description box no i think it because it depends what you use doesn't it? it it depends on the brands a friend of mine um which one did she use she used anthony's almond flower blend with it and zimmerman's bamboo fiber and she came out at eight total carbs per cup now i think i think i i mean i don't know what what brands are you guys okay. using because i'd like to base the carb count on that um i in particular um like using the kirkland's brand which is from costco um just because you get a whole lot <laughs> and it's actually really good well it's well priced uh, Becky says good morning you all from Texas. Hello Becky. And what is Mel making? Magic cookies. Magic cookies. Uh, number one fan says can the CK flour be frozen? Um, that's how I store mine. I freeze it. So yes. <laughs> Marzi says ladies and gents just needed to say that until further CWM merchandise becomes available the current look has raised the bar. Does the rest of the room think so? If you do Let's see some love hearts. Liddy Yay. says it's a very nice addition. Judy, Chef, Marianne, Cheryl are all dropping love hearts. <laughs> Marianne says if I choose not to use peanut butter, what would be a good fat sauce to replace it with? Ah, well, any nut butter, um, your own butter, <laughs> macadamia butter. You don't even have to use a nut butter. This is just my own variation on it i'm just adding flavors but really what i wanted to show you is um you don't have to have a plain cookie you can do all these kinds of things to this magic cookie dough and get a great result um so with the jaffa cookies you know the orange chocolate i added the zest the orange juice, only a tablespoon for all those cookies. And um, what is it 90% or did you get me 75% chocolate? Uh, this one's 80 something, 85 I think. 85. <clears throat> yeah, don't, don't go below uh, 75 because then um, the sugar just becomes a little bit ridiculous, I find. Um, stay from 75 if you're buying a slab but you know the lint slab oh could you please get the chocolate i want to show them one mermaid cola oh i'm sorry this one's uh, 90. oh 90 okay <clears throat> i still i didn't find it to be very bitter so that's pretty interesting okay <clears throat> uh, Stacy says why does my phone always ring during your live don't they know this is my cook with Mel time and then she's got the little swearing <laughs> yes I know <laughs> it's annoying uh, I missed a couple of comments but <clears throat> you read them out now uh, Chef has voted for Marzi to get the blue moderator wrench and Marzi says thanks for the compliment. I'm auditioning as we speak. Nice. <clears throat> Thank you all for showing and spreading your love hearts. Uh, that's Marzi. Nice. Uh, Lily says I wonder how the humidity in your home factors in to how long of a shelf life the flower has. Uh, the weather here is like Orlando. Um, it's our winter at the moment. Um, and yeah, it's pretty warm during the day. It's pretty warm during the day and um, cold at night. So I've just got a bit of extra dough here that do I'm you, gonna... Do you think the humidity would factor in? I do health? not. You don't? I do not, yeah. Okay. Uh, Chef says, Marzi, you definitely get my vote. Uh, Ella says, thank you, dear sweetie. I'll use it pretty soon with all your recipes. <clears throat> ah, here we go. Danielle says, sorry, internet died. 
Add cocoa powder and mint extract instead of vanilla and it will taste like Girl Scout cookie flavor. Ooh, yum. Cheryl says I buy, <coughs> excuse me, I buy a vanilla extract called Goodman's and I get it at Walmart. Ella says happy belated birthday dear Chris. Oh, thanks Ella. Stacy says love that squeeze container. My vanilla paste in a jar makes a sticky mess. Ah, okay, yes. Kelly is sending love hearts. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. <clears throat> Danielle says, versatile white dough that works with just about all flavors. Yes. She also, Danny has <clears throat> also had this recipe featured in a cookbook, by the way. So, we already know, I mean, I felt like I already knew that it's been tried and tested. Uh, not to mention, she's got a large family and... They're all doing sugar-free, so um, they would use this cookie. They are using <laughs> this magic cookie dough. So, very grateful for this recipe. Anywho, when you when you um, add your little dough balls to your pan, oh, you just make a little bit of space so I can show you. Um, do space them. They do spread quite a bit. I mean... Um, I, these weigh 30 grams each and that's what they, ah, oh, I flattened these. These turn out a little bit, when you roll them into balls, they turn out thicker and smaller. So, have you told them what's in, in that cookie? Yes. Oh, Chris is dying because Jaffa is his favorite. It's his like favorite flavor. He goes crazy over it. So his his eyes are wide. Have you told them? If anyone knows what Terry's chocolate orange tastes like, or Jaffa cakes, or anything in that realm, these taste absolutely identical. And I'm about six deep in these today. And after this live, the rest will be going too. Uh, Lily says you can make an ice cream sandwich with those keto ice cream, of course. Absolutely, yes, you can. Super Ron says, hey mom, my birthday's coming up fast, August 1st, how about making a chocolate cake? Oh, yes. And <clears throat> for a chocolate cake, I would <clears throat> definitely be comfortable using uh, ch the chicken flour blend because I've tried that with chocolate and it turns out amazing. With very well. Um, some of my subscribers, Judy Duran, no, uh, no Judy's baking with almond flour, but um, Cheryl Tomlinson bakes, does everything with chicken flour, and she's doing better than I am. So I'm still learning to bake with chicken flour at the moment. Anyway, in these go. Now oh, we have a new, another new face. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Now. It's either Joanne or Johan or, or Yo Johan or, or, Johan. or Johan Johnson. And I'm very sorry, my thing is to butcher names, so I'm sorry if I got that wrong. But I'm going to call you Joanne for now. Hi, I finally caught a live. Yay, how are you yeah. guys? I love you guys. You're helping me on my journey. I'm learning a lot. Well, welcome, oh, Joanne. Awesome. Lovely to have yes, you here. Yes, nice to see you, Joanne. Um, Charlotte Ferris. Oh, Charlotte. Hello, Charlotte. Has made an appearance. Good, good Saturday morning, everyone. Good Saturday morning. Yes. <clears throat> Carb conscious Carolyn. Have you tried combining the two blends to tone down the chicken flavor in one and lower the carb count in the other? Um, actually, you could do that. You could. I just haven't tried it yet. But somebody else, I don't know if it was you, Carolyn, but somebody else did suggest that to me, but I forgot to do it today. <laughs> but um, I think, why not do that for the baking? That's awesome. Yes. Stacy says, so now these don't spread without refrigeration. My problem with keto baking lately is spreading. And again, Stacey, there's an awful lot of swearing going on here this morning. She's got a swearing emoji again. Okay, so um, you'll see in the video coming up what size these were. They, I did roll these into balls, 
But then because I wanted to put chocolate on top and then also coat the top with orange zest, I had to flatten them because, you know, the chocolate was never going to stay on the cookie. <laughs> so I had to flatten them a little bit. They were about that thick and about that small. So the answer is they spread without refrigeration. And you'll see now from rolling it into a proper ball how much they spread in a few minutes. Ah, Danielle says... <clears throat> That's Danielle Graves, not Danielle Hargraves. Danielle says, add oxygen absorber and store in an airtight container. Experiment started here. Will update monthly. That would be awesome, actually, Danielle. Yes. Cheryl says, how many cookies are you getting? What is the weight amount you are using? Um, so I roll them into 30 gram uh, balls. Uh, well, each ball <laughs> weighs 30 grams. And I get... Eight. Is it? Yeah, seven, seven or eight, depending on the flavors that I've added. Now, I've got eight out of this batch because I ordered, I, uh, I added a quarter cup of uh, peanut butter, right? Um, but with orange zest, is only like a little bit. It doesn't add bulk, so I got seven out of those. Um, with the plain. Two, four, six. With the plain, just leaving the batter plain, you will get six cookies out of that. Um, these are, which one? These are raspberry, raspberry jam, just added on top with pistachio nuts. And they, so without the toppings, you can assume that it's just a plain, the, just the, it's just the cookie dough, right? And with that, I got six out of those. All 30 gram balls. So I hope, does it answer the question? That does. Okay. <clears throat> Kelly says, I was concentrating on my mixing. Did you say how many co cookies this should make? Yeah, you just have. Yes. Uh, number one fan asks, what brand egg white powder and gelatin powder do you recommend? I really look forward to making some of your goodies. Any gelatin powder, any beef gelatin powder. Um, I don't have a great brand. My brand is called McKenzie's, but I get that brand <clears throat> because it's still low in carbs. It should be. It's gelatin. And um, it's called McKenzie's. And then what was the, the egg white egg powder? Egg white protein. <laughs> egg white protein. I get it from a, bake, a baker's, a professional baker shop. I'll show you the carton. So... Unless you're in Australia, you won't be able to get it, but you have so many other options. I like feel like egg US. white powder is egg white powder. Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. I'll just show them. <clears throat> Stacy says, beef gelatin was a game changer with my last cookies. I didn't have spreading. I'm not sure if that was the key or if I got lucky. Adding beef gelatin. There's yeah. beef, should be beef gelatin in her flour. Is that what she means? No, she just said it was a game changer in the last cookies and she didn't have any spreading. So do you not want it to spread? I feel like they should be spreading, but maybe you don't feel that way. But here you go. That is that is the brand that we currently oh thank you. Miss Biscuit, but yeah, I think this one's only <clears throat> excuse me, this one's only available in Oz. It is. It's it is, um, and it's relevant only if they can get it, like, if they're, if they're in Oz. But, like, there's so many brands of egg white protein powder. Okay, Danielle says, pure vanilla instead of imitation vanilla, much lower carbs. And she's so happy that I love the base mix. Yeah, I'm so happy that I love it, too. <laughs> Patty Dixon says, have you made these with the chicken flour blend? I have not yet, but I'm actually keen to try them. Um with half almond flour and half chicken flour i really want to do that i think i am going to do that for my next flavor testing uh, chef says they look those look amazing thank you chef lily says i can confirm chef they taste amazing i uh, nice. i've been taking my job as taste tester very seriously <laughs> lily says don't forget to hit the like button it helps thanks lily thank you 
Uh, Cheryl says, ha ha, I'm never going to be better than you, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Danielle says, Patty Dixon, I will be using the recipe with chicken flour and beef flour blends today. We'll update Mel with pictures and input after they cool. Yes, awesome. please, thank you. Wow. Marzi says, this week I made with Mel CKF a lemon sponge cake mixed with, with mixed organic berries, sugar-free chocolate chips coated Ooh. with a hint of the Canto maple syrup. Sounds Ooh. busy, but it absolutely rocked our taste buds. Oof, that sounds that good. That sounds really <laughs> yum. Well done. Marzi, you're a good baker and cook belt. Very good. Uh, Joanne says, I got my dehydrator and we'll be making chicken flour this weekend. And you did well, Chris. It's pronounced Joanne. Oh, good. I nice. Didn't, I didn't butcher I do. <laughs> I do think it's important for us to try and make um, baked goods with chicken flour. Even if you use half almond and half chicken, um, I think that is actually going to work. Just because we're all about that low carb life, we're trying to stick to our macros and trying to, you know, hit the numbers and lose weight while having a treat. <laughs> so I think it's important that we we should try. I mean, even if you do a quarter chicken powder and um, the rest almond flour, it's still something, right? So yes. Um. <clears throat> Marzi says, great tip, Lily, and yes, my thumbs are up. Good man. Danielle says, the freeze-dried chicken is not real bad chicken flavor, by the way. Nice. That's interesting. Uh, Chef says, sounds delicious, Marzi. It does. It really it does. does. Mm. I want to invite. <laughs> <laughs> Lily says, well, as far as spreading, don't look at my hips. <laughs> no, Lily, you didn't say that. If anyone was going to say that, it was going to be Lily. <laughs> My goodness, this is hilarious. Uh, Judy, uh, Judy says, Marzi Marzi, that lemon sponge cake sounds yum. Uh, Lily says, 100%. you know what they say, eat two, one for each. <laughs> uh, celiac revelation. Hello, nice to see you. Mwah. Kisses. Is there a reason you use lint instead of Lily's chocolate chips to reduce the carbs more? Doesn't lint contain sugar? Let's have a butcher's. It contains 1.4 grams of sugar per serving. And per, it's... Per serving. So in the whole thing, there's about 8 grams of sugar. Yes. And I'm not sure if you guys know this. I googled this a while ago, but you're allowed up to... 50 grams a day of sugars on the keto diet. Now, nobody tells you that because we're all trying to get away from sugar and the keto police will probably not like me pointing that out, but hey, <laughs> you are allowed a little bit of sugars per day. So I feel that that is okay. We, on the, on the other hand, in Australia, we don't get lilies, we don't get such fabulous chocolate chips so i think even the noshu ones that no the noshu ones are actually terrible we get noshu here <clears throat> i i think i wouldn't mind them so much this is what makes me laugh and this happens on so much packaging sugar free and on the back i'll read the uh, nutritional information per serve which is 25 grams 1.2 grams of sugar. How do you put sugar free on something? But you see, that's, that's why Lily's, that's why she's asking about Lily's, yeah. because it's it really su sugar superior <clears throat> chocolate chips. And the other thing I don't like about these is that you've got to be super careful if you're melting the chocolate in the microwave. It can go uh, crumbly. Um, if you go too far, so not very forgiving. <laughs> anyway, yes, you're laughing. So uh, yeah, it's, it's coming up. But uh, first of all, Shirley Muller. Hello, Shirley. Or Malar. Again, one for me to butcher. Uh, Shirley says I've been watching replays for now. Finally, able to watch my first live. Well, welcome, Shirley. I'm happy to have you here. <laughs> nice to see you. What I was laughing at is Stacy says, sadly, Lily, I lived that motto for far too long. You know, one on each hip. Before I found keto. Chris, 
the capitals. Please no, no swearing emojis this time, but she's poking her tongue out at me. Well, I'm glad, Stacy, because I was going to go and prepare my soap and water mix and come and wash your mouth out. Uh, Cheryl says, I use Nox gelatin in my mix for anyone that wants to know. That's good advice. Nice. Uh, Lily says, you can eat two keto cookies. Lol. <laughs> Danielle says, not super popular here in the States for gelatin. Yes, okay, so yes, yes, <clears throat> yes. Lily says, egg white protein is expensive and hard to come by lately. Uh, yeah, it is. Danielle says, if they want them to stay as a ball, like snowball cookies, add xanthan gum and half the butter. Okay. Wow, <clears throat> that's amazing. A pinch of xanthan gum, I reckon, because that is not a lot of cookie dough. And it looks like my cookies are now ready, so I'm just going to get some gloves and I'll be right back. Okay, while you do that, uh, Marzi Mars has sent a $20 super thanks oh, and wow. said, Happy birthday, Brother Christo. A little something was a treat. Thank you, my friend. Very much appreciated. Uh, Joanne has also sent a $20 uh, super sticker and said, You are amazing. Oh, thanks, Joanne. Thank you so much, guys. Do you yeah, know absolute what? Rock star. I don't know what I've done with my gloves. I know I have them stacked somewhere. I can visually imagine them. <laughs> I don't know what I've done with them. <laughs> I've, I've put them somewhere thinking I was super organized. <laughs> but let me grab the cookies and actually I need something to... No, they're not there. What on earth have you done? I don't know. Anyway, um... I'll put this I'll put this down so I can protect my counter. But here's the results. So oh I shouldn't touch them. Do you know I really need to stop these bad habits. But I don't know if you can see this. They haven't spread that much when you roll them into a ball. If you flatten them, they're going to turn out like this. But if you roll them into a ball, oh, they're soft. I might injure the cookies. Oh, see, I told you I was organized. Thank you. So if you're wondering, if you don't want spreadable cookies, just leave them in a ball and you get a thick cookie and I'm telling you if you don't over bake them they are gooey in the middle and um, the sign of when they're done is that when they have slight browning on the outside that's your cue um, so start checking them from about eight minutes and then go up to ten I wouldn't go further than that now Danielle it's her recipe she needs to bake hers for 14 minutes and obviously our ovens are different so when you bake them for the first time check them at eight minutes if they're almost ready then you know that's the, the amount of time that you need when you bake your cookies so so Lily says she would love to see uh, the beef flour ah Danielle made beef, she made spaghetti with um, a CK flour with beef powder and it's got like a pink colour to it. I thought to myself, you know, my gosh, in a bolognese that would be like the best thing ever. <laughs> so. Uh, Stacey says, yup, in the flour. Now, in the flour, no, I had liquid cookies last batch. I used the VM flour with gelatin and refrigerated. I'm really thinking the new blend made the difference. Right, awesome. Dan Danielle says it's a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum that she was recommending before. Right, yes. Make no more cookies. Uh, up a little bit and towards, yep, there you go, perfect. Oh, they look nice. Yes. <clears throat> they didn't spread as far out as these ones. No, that's the difference is that I was just saying earlier, uh, yeah, I think you were you went off. Ah. I rolled these into a ball and those I didn't. I so, was listening. No, I don't think you were. I always listen. 
It's hard not to listen when you're so beautiful. I get mesmerized by it and I just, the words disappear. I'm sorry. Oh, what do you want? <laughs> I just turned old, a year older. Yes. Uh, sports says, hello, new to channel, new to keto. Hello, sports. Hello. What is chicken flour? Chicken flour is ground chicken, dried. Um, so we, um, my England's not doing too good today. Is English not your first language? It is. <clears throat> um, I use chicken breast, but you can use the chicken of your choice. Some people use um, rotisserie chicken, you know, that's just purchased from the store, um, chicken thighs, um, all sorts. Anyway, you have that choice of what kind of chicken you want to use. Um, we then dehydrate it. Um, no, we then cook it. So you can either bake it or poach your chicken. And dehydrate it. But you know what? You're new to my channel. You need to go and look at my videos. There is a video there on how to make chicken flour, um, uh, chicken powder. In the community section of my channel, I post lots of pics from people who've made or tried different dishes. Um, but in that one, I think it might be the second post in the community section, there is a link to how to make chicken powder in 10 minutes. And that video is by Chef Fat Grams. Thank you, Chef. Um, so if you want to do it quickly and you don't mind um, cooking in the microwave, then that will be the video for you. <laughs> uh, kill the oven if you don't want to. Yes. Okay. Uh, Stacy says uh, CK flour, not VM flour, is a typo. Now, see, Stacy, oh, you could have used see. the swearing emoji there. You missed a, missed a chance. Uh, Joanne, who sent the super sticker. Thank you so much, Joanne. Uh, says, just wanted to let you guys know I appreciate and trust your education. Thank you for doing these cooking shows. Thank you. Uh, Kelly says, okay, I missed it again. See, it's not just me that doesn't pay attention. No, the, that what, didn't what's the question? Because I'm happy to say it. Uh, how long in the oven? By the way, I added a quarter, quarter cup of chopped pecans and got 10 32 gram cookies. Nice. So how long in the oven? So, you set your oven to 350 Fahrenheit, 176 Celsius. Check your cookies at 8 minutes. If they are way underdone, you probably need to go to 14. Um, now, Danielle, who's the original recipe creator, she needs 14 minutes. But I need between 8 and 10 minutes. 8 minutes if I'm air frying and 10 minutes in the oven. I hope that's clear, but do check them at eight minutes. If you've got slight, slight browning around your cookies, then your cookies are ready. That's the underside. Oh my gosh. I just... Go on, get stuck. No, they're still warm. <clears throat> uh, Patty says, thanks Danielle Groves, I look forward to your results. Love these new flower blends. Yeah, it's awesome. Marzi says, thank you Mrs. Duran. When you're in the area again, drop in for a testing, or tasting, nice. testing. Blah. Not just you having trouble with the Queen's English. You always do. Lily says, be right back, I have to check and see if my hubby is still breathing. Yes, please do Lily, and I think we should start a petition in the comments that Lily must send a photo, dated photo of husband alive and well, and send it through to the community or send it through on uh, Facebook or Instagram to I, Mal, so I think the verify. husband should check in um, safe at Lily's home. <laughs> <laughs> Mark safe. <laughs> Mark safe during Hurricane Lily. Danielle says, I will bake you a gel bake. Oh, I'm sorry, Danielle. I'll start that again. I will bake you a gel break cake with a file in it if the keto police arrest you. Lily's just got added to care package. <laughs> nice. And Seattle 6 says Keto. Keto. Keto Police, LMAO. 
I, they exist. <laughs> they do. We're, we're lucky. We don't get trolled by the keto police that often, but... I think I, think I have um, maybe sent the message out to the universe that the keto police are not welcome. You ain't welcome time. up in here. I, th- I think I truly have because I did... When I first started YouTube, I did get a lot of, oh, you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that. And, um, excuse me, I'm no longer having white unhealthy bread. (laughs) Excuse me, I've cut out all the sugar. Excuse me, I can have (laughs) sweetener if I want to. (laughs) You must know when Mel says excuse me that the hurricane is coming next. Uh, let's see. Uh, Stacy says, "Thank you, Mel, Chris, and Danielle for the new cookie recipe. Gonna try today. And again, yes. happy birthday, Chris. Got to run. My son and grandkids just stopped by. Until yes. next Saturday. Thanks, Stacy. Thanks, Have an awesome day with the kids, and thank you for the birthday wish." Joanne says, "And ninety percent cocoa, which is so good for you." Yes, it is. Can't argue with that one. Yes. Ethel Pierzynski. Hi, Ethel. I'm determined to keep saying it until it rolls off the tongue a little bit better than it does. But nice to see you again, Ethel. I used your chicken flour blend to make fried chicken tenders. They turned out great and grandkids love them. Have you tried using to make fried pickles? Thank you for all your recipes. I have not. I actually have never eaten fried pickles ever in my life. I have a box of pickles sitting in my pantry but i've never tried frying pickles ever so the answer is no and i wouldn't even have would you do it like how you would do you know a crumbed chicken you know dipping them in the flour then egg then back again and then frying i think anyway uh, Marzi says, I purchased lilies from iHerb. Oh, yeah. the expensive website. Yes, and that's his uh, thought of that because as Marzi says, it works out okay when you bundle a few things that you can't really get anywhere else. So I guess it does. If you chuck a whole bunch of stuff together, it's the shipping that kills it. But yeah, yeah. if you spread it across a oh, few gosh, items, it would be okay. I find iHerb just off-putting. <laughs> Uh, Chef says, I think the best chips are Bake Believe. What's Bake Believe? Bake Believe. Must be the brand. I'm going to actually note that down and have a look, see if we can get those. Um, do you want to grab one? It's, do uh, Yes. Do You've you? tasted these already. Cheers. I have not tasted these ones. Or cheers. Have I? Oh, cheers. You have. You I made them the other day. Oh. These are the ch- same chocolate chip cookies. Um, that we had. Oh, right. Well, in that case, I'll just take the rest of the tray. Mm, God. Mm. They're gorgeous. I defy anybody to make that cookie and tell me that it's not good. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Cheryl says, Lily, I got the Now brand egg white powder from Walmart. They don't carry it in the store here. That's good news or good advice. Oh. Marzi says, Ethel P, that sounds awesome. I think that's with the pickles. Yeah, the pickles. Uh, I'm going to give it a go. I hope you don't mind. Becky says, they're looking great. Chef says, at Christmas, I buy the Lily's peppermint and use baked Lily chocolate baking wafers to make adornments. Wow, that actually sounds really cool. Uh, Marianne says, I missed the oven temperature. Sorry, was it? 350. <clears throat> I was trying to fill in while you had your mouth full. <laughs> mm. That, that was amazing. They're pretty damn good. Okay, so they're very gooey in the middle. My, my, that's my kind of chocolate chip cookie. I want a little bit of crunch on the edges so that if I want crunch, I can have crunch just by biting the edges. But I definitely love some goo in the middle. Very chocolatey and... Point to note Mm. though, interestingly, once they have cooled all the way down, uh, I normally store any cookies in the fridge. Right. In the past, non-keto cookies, if you store just a normal chocolate chip cookie in the fridge, it goes really hard. Right. These don't, they actually stay 
So you can take it out of the fridge and eat it straight away. And they still have goo. Soft. They still have. They're not gooey. They're just like they're a just nice soft, now. soft cookie that's cooled down. Mm. Boy, oh boy. Uh, Carb conscious Carolyn says mouth watering. Danielle says yum yum. You're making those great looking. So so proud. Oh. Uh, Charlotte says I made a batch of beef flour. I made small dumplings with it first. Nice. First littles and it was yum. Oh, Seattle, Seattle 6 was paying attention. Oh. Oven temperature 350 or 176C. Very, Very nice. good, Michael. <laughs> Danielle says, nice save, Chris. What did I say? I don't know what you, 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 <laughs> he does it all the time. He doesn't even know when he's doing it anymore. <laughs> I talk a lot of crap. So it's, uh, it's actually, my problem is remembering what it is I've said. I think these are your favorite though, because you love Jeffa so much. Yeah, they are. 100% my favorite. Marzi says, oh my God, chef, that sounds bomb. I'm placing my order as we speak. I'll send you my address in Whisper VIP mode. John O'Farrell, oh well. Look who decided to show up. Late, but here, hi everyone. John, your absence has been duly noted. You have detention for next week. And I think I'm just going to break open another cookie for Jonna. It's, am I doing this right? Am I in view? You can come a little bit closer if you like. Closer? Yep. Looks and insane. then I'll squeeze that one. Now, I imagine that if I had used, because, you know, my chocolate chips are not great. You can see they stayed solid. They haven't melted. So, I don't have great chocolate chips in my, my point of view. But if I used, if I had lilies, for example, or I used um, this, the Lynn chocolate, I reckon they would have turned out um, gooey like that because that's what I used for this so note to self get yourself some good chocolate chips if you want um, you know the chocolate to be runny and gooey in the middle <laughs> so yes that's why mine are still solid but you know still tastes fabulous Danielle says freeze-dried chicken and Blend into a powder in Nutribullet. I think she's answering uh, Sports, who was saying what's chicken. Charlotte says, LOL, that's what I say to my five-year-old when he tells me I'm so beautiful. She says, what do you want, Abram? Ah, so that's what Danielle was, was talking about when she said that I'd Oh, say. yes, yes, yes. Okay. Seattle 6 says, LOL, words be hard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Joanne says freeze dried as in from the freezer and then blender. So do you take it from the freezer and, and blend it or does freeze dried mean something else? It means something else. What does freeze dried mean? It's uh, dried by freezing. Like a blast freezing or something? Is yeah, that I a, think like so. part of the pro cooking process or something? It's a it's a type of cooking process, a type of um, drying process, actually. Okay, Jonas says, my bamboo finally arrived. Yay. Never, <laughs> never ordering anything again from India. Interesting. I guess needs must, but yeah, I believe it's back in stock in most yeah. parts of the world now, so. Yeah. Marzi says, Seattle 6, funny stuff. Welcome back aboard. Hope all is well, mate. Sports says, <clears throat> will do. Been watching your channel for a bit now. I have a dehydrator. So he's going to go back and watch all your nice, videos. Nice, nice. Eric Thorstrom. Hello, Eric. <laughs> Mel is magical. Oh, thank you. Is that Eric? Eric? No. Oh, okay. I have a friend named Eric. So. Chef says, they are Marzi. <clears throat> Marzi says, hi Jono, welcome aboard, Bamboo Fiber Rocks, happy baking. Eric says, I am keto and love the channel, but I tune in for the accent, lol. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, it is a kind of comical accent, isn't it? <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> no, I'd say that. Uh, Rumble Doll says, thank you, the cookies look amazing. Thank you so much, Rumble Doll. Danielle says, I love their dynamics. Together they welcome us into their kitchen like we're having a dinner party. Oh, oh yes. That, that was is, our goal. That is the idea. We we don't we don't get many visitors. We live we live in a state where we know nobody, so this is our way of socializing, spending time with our friends and you know testing testing recipes also all sorts so <clears throat> i hope you guys enjoyed our live show but yes this is um just a preview to the video that's coming up i thought it's just so good um i had to share it with you guys live just because sometimes in a normal video you don't get to see how easy a recipe is but in a live show you can't fake it <laughs> you so that's why we had to do it in the live but thank you everyone for joining us where are you going i've got a thousand comments to read oh no okay let's hear the comments uh, you didn't say a word to me i thought everyone stopped talking no, so i was no, no. going to politely bow out <laughs> <laughs> Heck no okay uh where did i get up to that amazing no no wait. Uh, Joanne says I will try the 10 minute option from Chef. Jonna says I watched that video. I went out yesterday and bought quite a few chicken breasts. LOL, Cassia said I see you like chicken, so I clucked at her. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Kelly okay. Bowe says uh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Lily says okay, I'm back. LOL. Lily, that doesn't prove anything. We have no idea whether he's alive, whether you've maimed him in some way. <laughs> she probably wrapped him and put him in the basement. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's probably being freeze-dried as we speak. <laughs> Danielle says, Jono could have helped up eggs and called them your babies. Jono could have held up eggs and called them your babies. <laughs> he's going to, he doesn't get it. I don't. I... Uh, Marzi says, just needed to say, Mel Star, your hair is looking so healthy and shining. Love the look. Oh, and okay. how about that run of excuse me's? <laughs> I must update you guys about my hair. I have stopped using my magic tonic, um, my hair remedy, because I want to now do a um, experiment to see how long it takes for my hair to start falling out again. Um, just to let you know, um, if anybody is using it, I know a few of you are, it takes about two weeks for you to start seeing more hair fall. But as time goes on, obviously it starts increasing, which is where I'm at right now. I think I started a month ago. You'll see in that same live, Chris found a stray hair on the counter. So apologies for that. But I was actually doing the experiment already. So I wasn't used to, you know, making sure my hair is in order. But yes, um, I suspect that, um, yes, it's been about a month. I expect that in a couple of months. Uh, my hair is just going to go right back to um, probably falling out as much as it used to. Um, so I'm keen to start up again to prevent that. <laughs> because then what was the point of cutting my hair all off? So, anyway. Uh, chef says, LMAO Hurricane Mel. <laughs> um, trust me, Chef, I'm going to pay for that. No. Uh, Danielle says you got deep fried pickles and dip in ranch. Oh, it, um, that sounds very good. Delightful. Uh, Lily says I use the almond flour bread to bread my eggplant palm. One thing I would say you need to thin out the flour. Okay. Eric says Mel, for some keto sweeteners, for some keto sweeteners create cravings. Fat, protein, and fiber provide satiating. I can't say satiating. Yeah. Sa satiety. Said. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I've never seen that word in all of my born days, but I probably butchered that. But he is right. 
Uh, Seattle yes. Sixes, thanks. Mars been painting the house with all keto derived energy. 12 hour days, up and down ladders, still 20, uh, 20 to 4 OMAD, and the neighbors are looking. <laughs> okay. Marianne says, make sure you dry off the pickles well before coating and baking. Lily says, next time I would add a bit more bamboo fiber. Chef says, fried pickles rock. Eric says, Southern Americans do fried pickles right. I would believe that that's true as well. Uh, Marianne says, Bake Believe we can purchase from Walmart. So it must just be a, yeah, quite a popular brand. Uh, Carb Conscious Carolyn, it would be Dirty Keto, but you could put a sugar-free Hershey Kiss or miniature recess, Reese's Cup on top of the warm cookie. Oh, yum. Ooh, that sounds very tempting. Danielle says she loves the reactions as you ate the bite and made her so very, very happy. Oh, so these, this is why they're dark. You didn't recognize them because they're actually peanut butter chocolate. Yeah, these are darker than the other ones. That yes, you the yeah. plain chocolate, the plain chocolate chip cookies. Do you still have one? I'm surprised. He normally hoovers, hoovers the cookie. I did hoover the cookie. And my goodness, what is going on? Are you well? Do Are you, you feeling all right? Do you realize, do you have any comprehension of the amount of cookies that you have baked in the last week? I'm only one person. So this is the actual chop chip cookies. They've been in the fridge. This is the one with the peanut butter. Um, Caught a cup of organic peanut butter added. You can see there's a slight uh, color difference, and they're cold. They come straight out of the fridge, so I can't break them yet. But you'd have to bite into them. To if you see. bite it, it's soft. I don't want to bite it though. I'm enjoying yeah, um, leave my cookies alone. Enjoying this flavor right here. See, <laughs> this look, is me. I'm sorted. Look at all of these. I've had so many cookies to eat this week. Like, is it any wonder? I, I wish, maybe next week I'll remember to report back on how many cookies we've got left in the house. And bear in mind that we haven't done all of the flavors for our video. So there's going to be even more flavors added to this for the week. See, and you're surprised that I haven't got through these other ones yet. Every time I turn around, there's a cookie being stuffed in my face going, try this. No, it wasn't stuffing nothing. <laughs> uh, Joanne says, I've never made fried pickles either. I'm thinking they're like fried green tomatoes. I would think so as well. Sorry, mm. tomatoes. Tomatoes. Tomato, tomato. Eric says, I appreciate the channel. Yes, Thank similar you. to fried green tomatoes. Ah. Marianne says, Choc Zero has... Excuse me, Choc Zero has chocolate orange squares. I'm going to try placing one on top. That Now that, that would be a winner. And I feel so bummed that we don't have Choc Zero. Uh, Joanne says, mmm, looks moist and delicious. Can't wait to make it. Becky says, I like chewy cookies. Mm. Daniel says, they freeze and thaw well after being cooked as well. Yes. Cheryl says, going to be making these today. Also add some cocoa powder and use white chips in those. Yes. I love how people just make their own. That's, but that's, that, that is my, that's subscri whole idea. my subscribers are fabulous bakers and cooks. I will say it till the cows come home. Well, our subscribers so, rock. Because uh, I feel I just need to give a basic recipe and then they just blow my mind with what they do with it. They do all sorts you guys do all sorts of things with it so i'm i'm really happy that you know we're connected and you know you can be creative you don't have to stick to just oh it must be this and it must be that you can do your own thing you know after you've done the basics <laughs> mrs henderson made it oh my goodness she... hello mrs h mom she has been out mowing the fields again, sorry. All oh, right, that'd be a big job. It would be, goodness me. Uh, Karen Humble says, happy birthday, Chris. I just became a Patreon. Oh, thank Thanks, you. Karen. And thank you for the birthday wish. Uh, Seattle Six says, cookie science is fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Eric says fried pickles or green tomatoes, keto crust with a great keto dip. Oof. Sounds good. Yes. Uh, Marzi says, oh my God, he's talking to Chef. Oh my God, bro, that's exactly what I've been doing whilst doing a full back part of my house renovation with a team of 30 at its peak. I'm feeling your pain too. Keep it up oh, wow. and thank the keto gods for the energy. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a lot. <laughs> Uh, Danielle says, Chris, you said you were distracted by her beauty. Nice save there. <laughs> I knew he was, yeah. I was speaking the truth. I was speaking facts. It was not a nice save. If, uh, actually, the timing says it all, doesn't it? Well, the ti timing is everything. Uh, Becky says, cookie looks like a large, is it quarter cup per cookies or two tablespoon size? I'm going to go with two tablespoons size. You need, you need 30 grams of the cookie dough per cookie. Um, and it turns, both of these weighed 30 grams prior to baking. So this one I flattened and this one was a ball. So, I mean, you, de you decide. Do you, like, you want puffy cookies? <laughs> or do you want flat ones? It's like so great because... With one recipe, you can get what you want. You know what I mean? So, I like that. <laughs> uh, where are we? Sorry, there's a, there's a lot to get through. <laughs> it's funny, when we did our first live, there were like, I don't know, a dozen comments from kind of the same, you know, same people. From our regular friends. Now I can't keep up. Yes. I... Uh, Mike's Keto Horrific Journey says, Hi, Howdy, Mal, and everyone. Mmm, cookies. <laughs> Jonna says, Nice, with a big thumbs up. Bonnie Kaufman. Hello, Bonnie. Bonnie says, Yum, Gosh. yum, gonna cook me some. Do you, know, do you know what? We have got so many of our Patreons on this live. I just want to say hi. Thank you to you all. <laughs> and it's so nice that you're joining us on the live. Thank you so much. Yeah. Marzi says, I'm at my letterbox, Christo, any chance for express post? I'm freezing my dot 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 <laughs> off. <laughs> Marzi, look, all I can say, brother, is that you're going to have to cross the border up this way because... It's warmer here, it's for one. It's very nice and warm here, and I i don't do Melbourne in the winter. <laughs> oh, you snob. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very hard. Like, last time I went down to Melbourne... I had a woolen jersey and a jacket, and a, you'd swear Stop. I was going to the Antarctic. Uh, Becky says, my birthday is coming up next month. How about making cinnamon buns, please? On the list, Becky, and hopefully I'll try and bump that up to the queue. Um, I'm actually working on um, recipes with yeast at the moment. I wasn't doing cinnamon rolls um, right now, but... I think maybe I should just work on that first so that you can get your birthday wish. Yes. Eric says, I don't like sweets or processed foods, but I enjoy Mel. She is a charm. Thank you so much, Eric. Donna says, I find lilies take forever to melt. Really? Uh, I have, to be honest with you, I have not used lilies myself just because... I'm not going to pay so much for it <laughs> when I can make this work. But um, I've heard great things about lilies, though. So what do you use instead? Is it Choc Zero uh, Choc Chips? Is that your preference? Uh, well, funny enough, uh, Carb Conscious Carolyn says Choc Zero has peanut butter chips. You could do a death by peanut butter cookie. Oh, my goodness. Goodness me. I think I'll just put this so I can stop <laughs> salivating, put this in my mouth. Oh. Mm. Mm. Um, okay. Are we up to date? No, we're far from being up to date. Really? Please. Please read fast. <sighs> I'm going to end up eating all of these cookies. I can just see oh, it. Oh, good. I need some help. I'm just going to put them Marzi in there. Marzi says thumbs up, please. Yes, please. Thank you, Marzi. Danielle says freeze-dried is a major kind of dehydration here in the States. 
Uh, John says, uh, first thing I do, Marzi, which is uh, thumbs up. Kelly, thanks, John. <coughs> Excuse me. Kelly Bo says, mine look amazing. I will share pictures of my recent CK experiments on Facebook. Yes. Yes, please. Please do, Kelly. Lily says, if you dehydrate raw chicken, I don't think you have to cook it first. I don't, I don't know. I'm... I don't know, but I don't know if that sounds right. I'm sure you can't use raw chicken for anything. Marzi says, carb conscious Carolyn, that sounds amazing. It does. If I ever, like, when I die, I want it to be death by some kind of cookie. Judy says, for a home freeze drying, you need a freeze dry machine, which is very expensive. Um. I think Lily has one, because I'm pretty sure that's where her husband is. He's in the freeze dry. You're I'm, picking on Lily a lot. I am not going to stop picking on Lily until we have evidence that hubby is safe and alive and well. We need to know. Joanne says, I ordered a silicon mold and plan to make my own chocolate chips with cocoa powder and sweetener. I'm looking for a recipe. Nice. You uh, should find one online, honestly. You should. Uh, Karen says, freeze drying is freezing and removing all the moisture with a vacuum pump. I have a freeze dryer. Okay. Nice. Danielle's given lots of thumbs up. Joanne says, oh, thanks, Judy. Uh, Rumble Doll says, love the dynamics and Mel's little giggles. <laughs> I I tried yeah. to squinch to, you know, dial it down because yeah. I have a very evil... <laughs> I was going to say the evil laugh. <laughs> yeah. I must, one day you'll do it on a live. I know you will. What, go full hug? Yeah, the full uh, bewitched <laughs> evil laugh. And I hope funny. not. <laughs> Mike's Keterific Journey says, are you in Queensland? Yes, yes we, we are. are, Mike. Mike, are you here as well? Uh, Aina says, hi. Hi, Aina. Uh, Chef says, always a joy to be with you all. Thanks, Chef. And awesome to have you here, mate. We've missed you in the last few weeks. Yes. Kelly says, so yummy. Thanks a bunch. Mm. Mike Sketerific Journey is talking to Chef, says, hey, brother. Ah, so Mike might be in the US. Jennifer Fine says, happy birthday. Hello, Thanks, Jennifer. Jennifer. Jonna says, I knew Jonna was going to give me crap. How could you not get that? You said somewhere back that I didn't get the joke. <laughs> no. Yes, I, I am just ex exactly as dumb as I look. Uh, Joanne says, I love you live. I watch at work. That's awesome. Yeah. Chef says, hey, Mike. Jonna says, hi, Mike. Oh, I'm only, I'm still tasting. I'm still trying to finish my chocolate chips. What's it been? A few minutes. Mm -hmm. And I've just about had the last lot. So <laughs> I don't think, I think that's why you're not, they're not finished and you haven't hoovered everything. Why? Because they take long to eat. It's no, this, this is small. Oh, right? trust me, there's an art form to eating them. You don't, uh, they don't take long for me to eat whatsoever. In fact, I could quite happily set a world record. <laughs> uh, Lil Miss Baker says, oh my gosh, just got on. I'll be watching this from the start and Hi, make Lil these Miss cookies. Baker. Have been so busy in the garden. What a harvest. Love your channel. You both are amazing and hilarious. Oh, Thanks, thank Lil you. Miss Baker. Thank you. Marzi says, much love and peace to you all. Thanks. Thank the stars of the show, Mel Star and Christo. Always a pleasure. To the rest of the room, make sure to come back and invite a friend. Coffees and cookies on me. Thanks, Marzi. I think that means he's disappearing. Oh, yes. <laughs> Danielle says, I agree, Jonna. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fantastic. Uh, Mike says, we will fry anything here in the South, including pickles. Yeah, that's pretty much so. Mike, Mike must be in the southern state somewhere. Maybe, yes. Right, okay. Also, uh, before, Marzi, before you go, just want to give credit to Marzi for my apron and that he sent it to us as a surprise. Anyway, carry on. Uh. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Maybe our lives are getting so big now we can't read yeah, out we, every comment. Yeah, we may have to not. <clears throat> uh, Cheryl says, You all have a wonderful week. See you next Saturday. 
See you, Cheryl. Nice, Cheryl. Have an awesome week. Eric says, everyone donate to mail, cash app, or super chats. What? Thanks, Eric. What was that? Everyone donate to Mel. Aw, thank you. <laughs> uh, Mike says, okay, I'm getting the message sending the cookies to me. <laughs> uh, Lily says, could you use yogurt as a sub for peanut butter? Would that add too much moisture? I don't, you don't need it, <clears throat> Lily. You don't need to sub your peanut butter. Your peanut butter is an addition an additional ingredient. The ingredients are your CK flour, baking soda, your sweetener, butter, a little bit of egg white, and your extract. That will make you a cookie. Those come out great, right? Everything else that we've discussed, you know, your raspberry jam, your peanut butter, your chocolate chips, they're all in addition to if that makes sense. Danielle's got all caps lock <clears throat> for this one. So I'm not sure if she's talking really loudly or whether she's bumped the caps lock, but nonetheless, Danielle says, Lily, the peanut butter is for a different flavor, not required <clears throat> for, oh. the, <clears throat> for the basic cookie. There you go, that's what. Oh, sorry. In the next breath, she says, sorry, bump the caps lock, sorry, not yelling. <laughs> Marzi says, Mike's Skeeterific Journey, love your name, welcome aboard, how right you are, they'll even fry the fry, all in the name of fun. Yes. Uh, Lomas Baker says, Choc Zero is amazing. Uh, Charity Shelby, these look great, got to make them today, peanut butter chocolate chip, yum, yes, please. Uh, yes. Mike says, we even fried, we even have fried butter. Uh, Joanne says that's because you are inspirational. Charlotte sending love hearts. Judy says got to run great life. Thank you. Bye Judy from Bye, Thing Vision. Judy. Thank you so much for joining us. Karen says thanks for all these replacements. I'm trying to get my husband to cut sugar out of his diet. Yeah. These recipes will really help. Yeah, and and that's the thing is that when you can when you can do that successfully without them saying. Oh, I taste something different in this cookie, for example. When you can do that, I think you're onto something. So I hope that he doesn't pick up that they're sugar free. Would be awesome. Marzi says, Joanne Johnson, you get the best on ground comment award for this live. Well done, love. What was Joanne's comment? Oh, she said you're inspirational. Oh, you thank know. you. Bonnie, Bonnie. Yes. Bonnie says, oh my goodness, this is a tad rude. Bonnie says, oh my God, it's going to be 105 here in Central Texas today. Clothes are optional. Nice. <laughs> Definitely, I would say. Danielle has sent to a $20 super thanks. Oh, thank you so much, Danielle. Thanks, Danielle. Oh gosh. She We've says, got her recipe and, <laughs> and, says, and, and, and. Let's get that new camera. We love you both. Thanks, thanks so much, Danielle. Eric says fermented keto breads will be a groundbreaker. Lily says she has done some yeast experiments. Be interested to see that. Yes. Mrs. Henderson has said, Mrs. Duran, why all the best and be well. See you next week. And Mrs. Henderson, Mom H, has also sent through a $50 super oh, thanks. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Uh, wow. <clears throat> Lily says, "LOL, hubby wants to die by cake, so I made him one." Ah, now we're getting to the, now we're getting some truth here. So if he's not dead already, it will be shortly. I can't wait for the forensic files episode to come out because we've got <laughs> evidence here. Uh, Lily says, "Oh, that was Lily." Eric says, "Mel's face alone inspires millions." I think we've got <laughs> quite a fan in Eric here. Oh, so what? <laughs> Danielle says, "Death by chocolate cookie version." <laughs> Add cocoa powder, chocolate chips, and drizzle with melted chocolate. Oof. Yeah, that sounds very naughty. Yeah. Danielle, you're going to be the, the death of me with these kind of suggestions. Oh, by the way, I do need to give you guys a tip. Uh, monk fruit sweetener works. Allulose works with this cookie recipe. So if you want to use, I would assume Swerve is great as well, but... Um, you guys know that I love using 
powdered monk fruit and sometimes I use granulated. It works great with it. There's no graininess in it. But if you prefer using allulose, that's going to work in here with this recipe too. Sorry. Anyway. Uh, what are you saying sorry for? You like I was interrupting. <laughs> that's all. No, you weren't. Uh, chef, uh, I think is laughing. He says, freeze-dried husband. <laughs> Uh, Marzi says, thank you, Mrs. Henderson. You get the best tip award for this live. Brava. Yes, brava. Seattle, Seattle 6, which is, is Sean, isn't it? Nope, that's no, that's Michael. Michael. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I get, there's another one that's got a very similar name. Michael, Michael and you have a very similar um, sense of humor. So you do something silly and then he will say something equally equally well, funny Michael says I'm going to be called to the office later <laughs> it's very true Michael I, I have this saying in, in life when people ask me how I am I always say the same thing I'm always in trouble it's only the depth that ever it varies is. and generally I'm in it up to my neck uh, Lily says my hubby chimed in and said I survived you're going through menopause I can survive anything yes well, men menopause is rough. Mike's Keterific Journey says, I'm in Queensland in spirit. My mum was from Queensland, Ipswich. Wow, Ipswich. That's not far from us. No, she's about an hour and a half from where we no, are. No, less. Okay. Yeah, we're semantics, but yeah, that's not far from us. Mom H says, love you all, and we all love you. <clears throat> uh, blah, blah, blah. Marzi says, Mel, do you think you can use your CK flour as part of the base for my next cheesecake? Why not? I don't see why not. Why not? <clears throat> um, I'll tell you for the, why. The base of a cheesecake is the flour, the sweetener, pinch of salt if you're using almond. If you're using CK, then... Um, yeah, still do a pinch if you're combining your almond and your CK and butter, melted butter. You make sure that it's the consistency where you can press it down into the pan. That's it. You in made last week a whole bunch of experimental pizzas. Yes, I did. One of those, I remember I said to you, one of them had a, a really hard, uh, the, the crust was quite, it's too hard for a pizza base. Right. That would be perfect. You didn't actually try it, but that would have been perfect for a cheesecake base. Yes. Absolutely perfect for a cheesecake base. So, yes, whatever you now, can let Marzi know afterwards, but whatever that one was. No, for, for me, that one is not going to work simply because there are more than four ingredients in that that was in that pizza. Um I'm not going to share it yet because I'm still working on a good pizza crust recipe for you guys. But if I can get a cheesecake with four ingredients, cheesecake base with four ingredients, like I, why would I, I wouldn't suggest anything else. Four ingredients is pretty good <laughs> for a cheesecake base. Uh, Mike <coughs> says he's in Georgia. So his mom's oh, from nice. here, but he's in Georgia. Lovely. Uh, Ravi's here. Ravi says, happy birthday, Hello, Chris. Hello, Ravi. Wow, you guys are so close to 100k subs. So happy for you guys. Thanks, Thank Ravi. You. Good to see you, mate. <laughs> uh, Eric says, keto can transform lives, add in intermittent fasting and whole foods for optimal health. Certainly changed my life. Certainly. Um, I am a completely different person than what I was 10 years ago. Absolutely. Much happier, obviously, within weight range. I am not, <clears throat> I am um, about 15 to 20, I haven't weighed myself in a while, but I'm about 15 pounds overweight. And I do that out of choice and maintain at that level, at that number, uh, because of hanging skin. So if you... <laughs> If you are, um, a lot of people find that girl weight, hanging skin makes them very unhappy and feel, you know, sort of down about all the hard work that they've put through. 
I'm telling you, it works. <laughs> if you just put on a little bit more um, um, weight, uh, the hanging skin diminishes. And I mean, hello, are you trying to be double zero or a supermodel or something? You're not, right? You just want to be healthy. So, and happy. <laughs> and happy. Yes. So I think gold weight, small, small weight, whatever, you know, <laughs> that's my take on it. And my, my thing, the big thing that I just wanted, I just wanted to shop in the regular section, not the plus size section. That was my, I was, I used to go in these stores that used to go up to a certain size and try my level best to squeeze into one of the I remember Portman's I remember that and and I was just like oh I just want to fit in even their biggest size and now I don't even go into that store bye Felicia <laughs> you know <laughs> Uh, Sarah Chambers says, I'm Hello, late Sarah. to the party, but wanted to say I love your channel. Thank you, Sarah. By the way, I noticed you have almost 100,000 subscribers. Yay, I'm excited for you. Well deserved. Thank you Thank so you, Sarah. much. <clears throat> Mike says, sunscreen, Bonnie, sunscreen. Because she is yes. colors optional. Yes, colors optional. Eric says, thanks for everyone donating who learned from Mel's knowledge. Pay it forward. Thank you so much. Celiac Revelation. Thanks. Thank you, Mel, for your inspiration for all of us trying to live a healthy lifestyle. You never need to apologize for what works for you. Your recipes are so helpful and amazing. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Celiac. Lil Miss Baker says, 112 in Northern California yesterday. Today it will be 109. Man, they're really what? cooking over there. Ugh, got to run. Love you both. Love you, Lil Miss Baker. We need to know okay. what uh, Little Miss Baker's name is, so we can... Yes, you know. maybe she's gone already, but maybe, if yeah. she wants to... Eric says, all due respect to Chris. <laughs> <laughs> we're not worried about him. No, we're not worried about me at all. Uh, Lily says, take care and God bless to you all. See you next Saturday. See you, Lily. Hope you have a great Bye, week. <clears throat> hope, uh, hope your husband makes it to next week as well. <laughs> Uh, Marzi says, Brother Christo, I should be hearing something from you soon. You'll make sense of it soon enough. Yes, parcel that is waiting for us to collect. Oh, okay. Ah, got you. I was going to say, I, I feel like I'm not getting a lot. What's wrong with me? Uh, Becky says, thank you, Mel and Chris, for answering my questions. Oh, I've, anytime. I've been to other live shows. They never get to my comment. Of course, I now tune into yours. Yeah, and no, it happens that's a lot. That's rude. I also watch live shows, and you, the amount of comments of people, that's why I try and get to every single one, because the amount that just ignore comments left, right, and center, it's crazy. It's like, why go on live if you don't want to interact with people? Uh, I, I, I'm confused by that. So you're welcome, Completely. Betty. And as, for as long as we can until it's like thousands of messages. Do you know, do you know what? We'll get to every single what one. Do you, what do you guys think? If, if somebody say full, <laughs> if... If, for example, Chef is having a conversation with Marzi, maybe we should skip that. I don't know. And um, I, I do skip some of those. Yeah. But, but the, the ones that ask questions and... Uh, the I think that, those, are, those are a must. Yeah. And people saying hi, I think those are a must. Absolutely. And I think people for. giving tips, those are a must. Okay, so all of the comments are a must. Yeah. I don't... But, like, we're getting a, a very... Uh, a large group of regulars now, like the people who are here uh, every week. Faithfully. And they talk to each other and say hi, and that's exactly I, what you I, want. I like the comments, though. I like yeah. seeing what everybody's saying, because I can't see the comments, and I'm missing out on all the fun if I don't get to hear about them. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm sorry that they don't do that. And, um, yeah, we try our level best to answer every single comment live or not that comes our way so because it's respectful anyway eric says good fats are healing good fats are yes charity says oh my cheesecake is my favorite food that's one of mine too next to cookies uh marzi says thanks mel i thought so too i'm looking forward to my next pandan cheesecake charity says happy birthday sorry i was a bit late to the party it's no okay. worries thanks charity 
Uh, Ella says bye bye for today, dear Mel and Chris. Uh, Thank you for the live. Bye, Ella. See you all next week. Have yes, a nice see you weekend next week. and upcoming week. You too, Ella. Hope you have a good one. Uh, Charity's laughing probably at you. At my expense somewhere. Uh, Carb Conscious Carolyn says you could crumble the leftover cookies, add melted butter, and make a graham cracker type crust. Yes, you could. Yeah, good. Yes, you could. It's, and that would be great. Wouldn't you say, Carolyn, if you just did um, a plain cookie? I, I, I have actually done that. Um, I didn't even cut or roll my cookies. I just did a large cookie sheet, baked that, and then, you know, broke it up to make my crumbs, which is awesome. Worked out great. Uh, Danielle says, Carolyn, make the base dough, add cinnamon, and then crumble. My mom did it. Sounds good. Uh, Marzi says, Becky, welcome aboard. That's a great point. They do get to all the comments and questions. You might notice that us others will offer free comments and free advice too, which they do. <laughs> I like that. Eric says, I lost 100 pounds. Wow. Congratulations, That's Eric. That's fabulous. Congratulations. Uh, Pat on the back for you. But intermittent fasting and the autophagy ate up all my dead cells. But I am male. I fortunately have no loose skin even without working out. That's pretty That's good. That's awesome. Uh, he says uh, keto and fasting is a lifestyle, not a diet. Yeah, agree. Chef is out of here. You all have a great day. Thanks, Mel, Chris, and Marzi. Hope everyone has a blessed day. You too, buddy. Ta da! Thanks, Chef. <laughs> uh, Carolyn says one last thought make miniature cookies and make cereal. Mm. Yes. Oh, yes. Eric says, I appreciate Mel's take on keto. Oh, thank you so much. Marzi says, right back at your chef. God bless and all the best, my friend. Uh, and we've got several people here congratulating Eric on his weight loss, and rightly so. Yes. Celiac Revelation says, if you set up a PO box, perhaps someone can send you some, just a thought. Send what? Not sure. We should set up a PO box anyway. Oh, you find the up to date. I am up to date. Wow. I'm almost hoarse. <clears throat> your, your dream is about to come true. I am actually losing my voice. Might get some peace for the night. <laughs> I wouldn't bank on it. Anyway, guys, I hope... Oh, Danielle says care packages. Oh, care packages. Christian Fisk is blowing you a kiss. Oh. Chris kisses but this is so beautiful guys I hope that you know make some for the grandkids they you know a lot of kids live a sugar-free lifestyle um, just because the moms want to keep uh, the kids healthy and not get hooked on um, white rubbish um, so bake the kids some sugar-free cookies why don't you be a nice grandma or grandpa and um, yeah because why not <laughs> anyway guys we won't hold you up anymore we want to say thank you for attending yet another live and we really appreciate all of you it feels like you're all you know in our house and we're sitting around you know having this conversation but I hope to see you next week. I will have something good for you then as well. Ciao. Kisses. Bye, guys. Have a good weekend. Bye.